Okay guys, uh, here's a quick video for you for GarageBand. Um, somebody asked about making breaks in the drums for tracks, okay? Shul, um here I've got a eight bars, eight bars, another eight bars, right? It's just a, a rock thing, you know, very generic, right? And I use the SoCal kit, I use Kyle, playing the half pipe pattern, okay? Uh, just a basic rock beat, all right, and then there's a bass, a guitar, and a second guitar that does a riff, and then a lead bit here, right? <laughs> So we're going to have a break in the middle here. So what we, we do is we select the drummer track, open the editor, and I just click on the background. Click on the background so nothing's selected, and click just this region here. Now this can be the breakdown bit where the drums disappear. I've got the window open by the way because it's a really hot day. There's been protests up in London. I'm, I'm really close to the centre, so we've got helicopters flying overhead all the time. Bloody police sirens. Okay, so um, just this section here. So uh, I'm just going to drag across that section. So this bit of drumming. Now I can break it down to just the hi hat. With that bit of drumming selected, just take out the kick and the snare. And it's just going to hold down a hi hat, and I can have quarter beats. <laughs> more splashy like eights yeah or eights with accents yeah or sixteenths I'm gonna go with these splashy eights right now we want to fill at the end leading into this bit right so what we do is we're going to chop it here, so bring the playhead to that bar, exactly to that bar there. Right. Beginning of this last bar, and with this region selected, Command T for Tommy, your Command and T key, splits that region at the playhead. And then with this region selected, ram up the fills. And I, Every time I ram this up, a different amount, and it's got to be high up to get a fill right across the whole bar. Right, I get a fill there. Right, that's just here, just the last two bars there leading into the fill. Yeah, like that, I move this again, I get a slightly different fill each time. You don't get a huge choice, you get what you're given. And then I've got to fill at the end of that section. So now we get the breakdown. Yeah, or we can do an accent thing, right? I mean, this, you know, um, like, let's with this bit we've got the fill at the end there still leading into the, the next section so we've got this one bar fill get that bit and i'm going to bring in the kick no hi-hat then i'm going to use this thing in and set it to the second to last pattern selector here for the kick and snare which says half underneath it that's half time the kicks are now playing half time and then back the complexity off here make it loud but back the complexity right off and that's giving me a kick every bar. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now I select the region before and bring the fill up a smidge, just a tiny amount. It won't even put a fill at the end of the bit, but it's putting a crash at the beginning of this with the kick. Right, and then I'm going to chop this right in the middle of that bar. Right, there's the first bar there with the kick and crash there at the beginning. And there's the beginning of the next bar. So I'll put this right in the middle of that bar and with this region selected, Command T to split it. I keep my kick and crash, but I can then get all this out of the way. If I don't want these kicks following, they can go. Let's get rid of them. Right, so we got. Then I want another one there, so just Alt, copy that across. I'll keep the crash, will be still be there. Oh no, the crash is gone. Oh no, come on. Why did he do that? Should keep the crash. No! Hang on, let's try that again. It should keep this crash. Alt, drag this across. No, it's losing it. All right, I'll show you a way to get around that. Create a new track. Make an instrument track. Create. Now, we'll get rid of that. This is the one with the kick and crash. Select it. Command C to copy. Go to this track. Put the player at the beginning of bar 9 there, where this kick and crash is. Command V, paste it in. It's pasted this kick and crash into this instrument track as MIDI notes. Right? Now what we do is just bring that across. Oh, now look, it's keeping the crash. Thanks a lot, guys. Put this back on the track, and these MIDI notes will trigger the drums the same, and it's the crash and the kick. Right, if you get that problem, <laughs> look, ironically, now I've moved this across, it's keeping the bloody kick, but that's another way of doing it like that. So I'll drag this, Alt, drag up a copy. So I'm getting that kick and crash, kick and crash, accenting every two bars. <laughs> Let's have it again here, Alt, drag off a copy, another accent there. And then let's bring this right across and then have one more of those like that. So we got, let's just zoom out a bit. So we got kick and crash, two bars later, kick and crash, two bars later, kick and crash, Oop. two bars later, kick and crash. Remember each of these patterns is just half a bar long. So kick and crash, half a bar of what's left of that drumming that I dragged across, and then the fill in that one bar. Now I can have a pre-fill here, or knock that out completely. I can knock that out, and then I just get, at the end, I get... Right, or, command said to undo that delete, I could keep this in, and with it selected, give it a fill, and I'll get a little pre-fill leading into the main fill. Let's just hear that bit. There. No, I don't like that. Oh, ah, shite. That region. Change that so I get a different fill. Yeah. yeah. Each time I get a different fill if I move this. Yeah, I like that. So there's another thing you can do like that to do these accented hits, you know, in the gaps. So there I've got accented hits now instead of holding the hi-hat down across that section, right? And uh, let's just hear the whole thing now. By the way, if you think the crash is too loud with that kick, select the track, go to the smart controls, lower your cymbals down a bit. Yeah, there's some ideas for making breaks in your drums, right? 
Oh yeah, I just thought something. You might want the accented hits with a kick and a crash and the hi-hats. How would you do that? Okay, well, let's um, get all these kick and crash MIDI little half bar regions, get them out of the way. All right, and let's go back to where we had the drumming across there. Okay, bring in the drum editor. Right, click on the background, it's nothing selected. Click just that region. There's our one bar fill at the end, leading into the next bit. There's our bit where we're having a breakdown. Um, so we'll go back to having a hi-hat, like that. Right, take the fills off. Let's just hear that bit. Key them up. <laughs> Okay, now we've got this kick and snare pattern thing here still on half time, and the ball is back right off here on complexity, right to the left. So we're getting to kick every bar, but we want it. We don't want it every bar. We want it every two bars. But we want to keep that hi hat holding down that tss, 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 right. How would we do that? Well, um, we've got that um, instrument track recreated there. Remember, right? So we will select this pattern with the hi-hat right kick and crash at the beginning and then just kicks across but it's holding the hi-hats but there are kicks here here kick 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 right so select that pattern command C to copy put the player to the beginning there select the instrument track V command V to paste in and there I've got the kick and the crash with the hi-hats being held down as a MIDI pattern now that can go Actually, no, what I'm going to do is bring that across. We have that little half bar extra fill at the end, right? Back that off. Okay, so half a bar, final bar with the fill in, and I've backed this off. I've taken this off half a bar like that so I can bring it up and slot it in that gap. Now, this MIDI pattern now um, is crash, kick, hi hats. Right. But there's the next kick and there's the next kick. Get rid of it. Then I want a kick two bars later, but I want the crash as well. So command to get the pencil tool and put in a crash there as well. And that I'm going to quantize right on the beat. Okay. So now we've got kick and crash hi hats. Two bars later, kick and crash hi hats. <laughs> Right, don't want to kick there, don't want to kick there, but here I've got the kick again, two bars later the kick and I want the crash, so I put a crash in there as well, and then that note, get rid of it, and then two bars later there's another kick, I don't want that one there, and then a crash with this kick here, command, pencil in another crash, Oop. okay so what we're getting now is kick and crash, Two bars later, kick and crash. Two bars later, kick and crash. Two bars later, kick and crash. But the hi hat's being held across it. Okay, and then we just need to work on that little sub fill leading into the fill. I mean, if you want it, if you don't want that sub fill, get rid of it just get rid of it and then just bring this across right and um, we've still got kick and crash kick and crash yeah. but that's just gonna play the higher into the fill right actually I'm gonna command set to undo that let's keep that. I'm gonna have a little pre-fill in there so let's just work on that drag across the last two bars so full bar fill half a bar of this last bit of drumming and I can put my pre-fill there. Get the pre-fill that I wanted. That one from before I quite liked. Why can't I get it now? Is that it? There it is. Right, and there's another thing you can do. Yeah, and now I've got the thing with the gap. is holding down the hi-hat, but it's got the kick and crash accents and again smart controls just bring those symbols down a bit more
Yeah, that's how you do that. I hope that's useful. See you for the next one.